Hi everyone, this is Esther Camacho with the McAllen Public Library, and welcome to another Frontier Roots, Brief History of Edinburgh, Texas. Now, Edinburgh is basically on the center in Hildago County. Uh, it is north of McAllen, as you can see on the map. And to tell you a little bit of history about it, it originally was called Chapin. It was founded in 1908 by the city's founder, Dennis Bain Chapin. And this is a, a picture of the 1908 original town site uh, plat of Chapin. And you can see that the city square is right in the center. And it's the streets go uh, north, south, east, and west. Now we're going to step back a little bit and talk about before Chapin. Now there was an election because the county seat was in Hildago, Texas. And the election that was held on the 12th of October 1908 uh, everyone voted, and the majority ruled that it should, the county seat should be moved to Chapin, which is Edinburgh today. And so, uh, to prevent anybody who was not pleased with the results, uh, they moved all the records uh, in the very early hours of the morning by ox-drawn carts uh, over to Chapin, Texas. And everything was going fine in Chapin, Texas, until one day, and this happened on a Thursday evening, uh, the 17th of August in 1910, Dennis Chapin was in San Antonio. And he went to uh, one of the San Antonio bars there and encountered Oscar Roundtree. And he ended up killing him. And you can see by the uh, newspaper, that states, you know, man dies of wound, millionaire in jail, because uh, Dennis Chapin was a very wealthy man. And in 1911, uh, he was tried for murder, but he was acquitted claiming self-defense. During that time, his trial started on the 13th of February, 1911. At that time, on the same day, the post office changed their name from Chapin to Edinburgh. And on the 14th of February, one day after, the county judge, uh, James Edwards, signed an order to change the name of the town to Edinburgh. Now, I know a lot of people were shocked and displeased, and they were very concerned because the town was carrying the Chapin name and they wanted to distance themselves from him and what was happening with him in San Antonio. So it became Edinburgh, Texas, and it was officially incorporated by an election on the 9th of September, 1911, with 1,171 residents. And they elected their first mayor, and he was A.J. Ross. And they did have a schoolhouse, the first two-room schoolhouse, as you see in the picture. Uh, but by 1912, they had to get a larger one. Uh, and, and it grew from there. Now, the jail, it was built around 1909, 1910. And as you can see, the tower portion, this is the, had the hanging trap. This is where... Uh, Abram Ortiz, who was convicted of rape and murder, was executed in 1913. And Nemesio Cortina, he was the first jailer hired by John Klausner. And from the articles I had read, he, he sounded like a really good person. He got along with everyone, even those that were in jail. And he died in 1916 at the age of 40. 
He's laid to rest in Brushwood Cemetery, which is now Hillcrest Memorial Park. Now, just a, a brief timeline of, of Edinburgh, Texas. 1908, it was Chapin. And in 1908, they built uh, their courthouse. Uh, 1911, it changed over to officially be Edinburgh, Texas. 1927, the train arrives and they built a depot, which is now the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, in 1927, they had their first college. It was called Edinburgh College. By 1952, it had expanded and became Pan, Pan, Pan American College. And of course, you know it is UTRGV today. Uh, and a side note, in 1954, there was a bomb explosion in the courthouse. And uh, Mr. Miller was upset about a case that he was had filed uh, because of some injuries that he had had. And uh, so he carried uh, a dynamite in with him. He made us his own bomb. And... Uh, they're not sure whether he did it deliberately or accidental, but the bomb exploded and he was the one that was killed. Some recommended reading, Hidalgo County, Texas. Uh, this is part of the Images of America. It's a really good book. Uh, the Images of America, Edinburgh, that was done by uh, Janet Garcia. Uh, it's extremely... Uh, Really researched, very good book. And one of my favorites is The Wild Horse Desert, The Heritage of South Texas by Brian Robertson. It's an older book. I believe it was done in the uh, 1980s. Uh, but it's going to give you a wealth of information about the history of this whole area. So be sure to check them out. So thank you for watching Frontier Roots, The Brief History of Edinburgh, Texas. So next time on Frontier Roots, Banish Towns and RGV. This is Esther Camacho with the McAllen Public Library. Don't forget to add a comment below and to like us on Facebook. So see you next time.